Ladies and gentlemen, appointees, members of the press, and of course, the electorate, volunteers of Initiative 301, who are here today, and members of the public. It's an honor to be sitting here today and working with all of you as members of the only municipal body of its kind in the world that has a mission to collect data and report on the effects of psilocybin decriminalization in a metropolitan area. I want to acknowledge how tremendous it is for me, for everyone who worked with Decriminalized Denver, and for everyone who voted yes on Initiative 301, that we're now sitting in a room in this great building with attorneys, elected and appointed officials, and law enforcement, and having a rational, peaceful, informed discussion about naturally occurring psychoactive compounds, namely funky fungi, magic mushrooms, boomers, shrooms, psilocybin-containing mushrooms. A meeting like this doesn't happen every day, and the fact that we're here is a signal to the rest of the country, nay the world, that we're ready for this conversation. What a gift and what an opportunity. We have our work cut out for us as we monitor the impact of psilocybin decriminalization in Denver, establish reporting standards, and prove its safety we need to acknowledge that there is already a culture of use, and it is our duty to educate the public and promote using psilocybin responsibly. Yes, some people are using mushrooms recreationally to give their concert-going experience at Red Rocks more flavor, or to get more in touch with nature in our already mind-bending national parks and forests, but I argue many more are using psilocybin therapeutically, whether in an underground, traditional, or clinical setting, or in the comfort of their own home with a trusted friend to treat things like depression, anxiety, and addiction, ailments that psilocybin, demonstrated by clinical investigation over the past 20 years, has the massive potential to address. So my question and my challenge is, as appointed officials on this panel, how can we explore and recommend psilocybin to solve some of the most complex problems we're facing as a city? namely Denver's mental and behavioral health challenges, and create a climate where law enforcement, especially, embraces a culture of compassion over criminalization for drug offenders. Imagine a world with less crime, more empathy, more creativity, more inclusivity, more innovation, where we have access to natural medicines, tools, that have an immediate and long-lasting impact on our health and mental wellness. Denver has an opportunity not to become the drug capital of the United States or a new Amsterdam, as some have stated, but as Initiative 301's field director, Travis Tyler Fluck, has stated so eloquently many times, and he's sitting right over there, Denver can become a new Geneva, where people from all walks of life can come, and they don't have to stay, but they can come and get the healing they need to live a happier and more fulfilled life. Thank you. <laughs> 